Hello everybody. Um today we're going to be uh making our ultrasonic sensor tripwire. And um ooh, let me get that up there. So if y'all remember uh in a previous uh thing we created our ultrasonic tripwire uh PCB we tested it out in theory, and then we made our uh, we made our PCB. It's just been ordered. We have it right here, um, and so get the diagram up in the the corner. Now um, we got all our parts here. We got two LEDs, a transistor, our little. Uh, speaker uh, alarm we got our ultrasonic sensor we got our Arduino Nano and we got our resistors here uh, two of these are for our 300 and then we got our uh, 1k resistor for our transistor so um, let's get started so the first thing we want to do is put in the resistors. Um, so we got our board there. Our 1K resistor is going to go in our R1 right there. So bend it like EU. We're going to put one side in. Then the other side. Oh. Hey, camera, focus, please. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Auto. No, you shouldn't be an auto. Yeah, oh, it's it's on autofocus. All right, so that's there. And we're gonna bend the wires up once it's in there. So it's like that. We're gonna take our three thirty resistor. We're gonna put it in R two. Put it in. Bend the wires, and we're going to do the same thing with our other three, th uh, our three thirty resistor. Put it in a U shape, and put it just right in there. And there we go. Uh, all right. So I'm going to take a second to. Turn on my soldering iron. You're also going to need uh, for this some solder and some pliers and possibly, oh no, and definitely some snips, some snipping tools. Um, and again, this is going to be for when I uh, when I release this stuff on uh, for my store uh, for my stem kits. So, there's the, oh, now you autofocus to the right thing, but you don't want to, there we go. All right, um. So it looks like we got our soldering ready. So place it down on your on your work table. Make sure that it has a has something by it. I'm gonna tilt the lamp because it's glaring at us. Oh no. Yeah, it's really glaring now. There we go. That's fine. Right there. Alright, so we're gonna. Take our soldering iron. Oh, I'm gonna put on my ventilation fan. And we're just gonna go one. Oh. Forgot to put on some music. Gotta do my stream beats. Oh. We're gonna do some lo-fi music today, actually.
All right, now. Let's get on with it. All right, so we got our one first one done. Just put the soldering iron right next to the hole, touch the wire and the hole. Then bring your solder in and touch the tip of the iron and it should flow right onto the wire and the hole. Same thing, place it right there. And sometimes you need to wait for a second for the soldering iron to heat up the wire the and the hole because you're trying to get it to the same temperature as the soldering iron so it melts the solder. If it doesn't come up to the if it doesn't come up to an appropriate temperature, the solder will just free flow over it and it won't form a stable connection, so you gotta wait sometimes. There we go, we got all three of those resistors done. Now we're just gonna take our snips and we're gonna do one, two, three. Four, five, six. All right, there we go. All right, I think next we're gonna do our transistor. Now, the reason we have a transistor here is because it's uh, kind of inappropriate for a large draw, a large uh, energy draw device to directly connect to the microcontroller. So in order to stop that from, you know, from that being a problem, we put a transistor in the middle. Um, so it just draws power from the main power. So again, you can see the transistor here. I don't think we've worked with them before but it's got kind of like a U shape. And you just plop it right in. You plop it right in there. And it's just right there. Yep. And you wanna hold it against the board as best you can. And we're just gonna one, bend them back, two. And we could leave that third one up just so it doesn't get in the way of the others. At the same time, we're gonna put one of the LEDs in. I haven't figured out a, an appropriate um, color for them, so I just choose, chose two at random that I had lying around. So again, with the LEDs, it's got a flat side for the negative. And also the, the connector is shorter as well. The longer side is always the positive. And so if you see on the board here, again, the flat side of the LED goes there. Push it in. And just, I'm gonna bend this down. And there we go. All right. Next, we're gonna just solder these again. Same thing. Soldering iron right next to the, onto the hole, next to the wire, onto the, uh, touching the wire as well. Now we're just gonna try and, there we go. There it is. And then the next one. There we go. All right. Now we're going to do the transistor. Uh, this one's going to be a bit more complicated because it's a bit smaller. Now let's see if we can get it to work there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta you gotta wipe off your soldering iron either on a sponge or uh, some other kind of material. that one done. And I think that one's done. No, wait. 
Yeah, that's done. That's done. Okay. Now the middle one is going to be the most complicated one. Because if I do it wrong, it'll be touching. Yep, it's touching the other one. You can see right there, those two are touching. We don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is quickly. putting the soldering iron and trying to get some of the excess solder off. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so that looks pretty good right there. So now we're going to use the snips. Snip off one, two, three. Alright. Let's take a look at that. That looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, so it doesn't look like they're touching at all. Yeah. Next, snip off the LEDs. Or the LED. Now we're gonna put the second LED on. Again, the minus side on this side, the flat side. Put it right in. The reason I didn't do the second one at the same time is because I want to make sure that those two can fold out without touching anything. So I won't have this wire. So I wouldn't have the top wire um, accidentally being soldered to the other two. I wish I had a button for manual focus. one there's two all right and then just snip these off there we go so it actually might look okay so one of them is going to be red and one of them is going to be i think white maybe cool so our next thing is going to be our little um our little um uh alarm sensor or alarm uh speaker now let's see if we can focus this come on focus all right you see on the the top there where it has oh oh come on there we go. So you can see on the top there, it has like the little plus sign right there. Well, on our board, we got a little plus right there. So you want to match that side up with that one. And you see the two leads at the bottom. Just push it right in. And there it is. Now this one, I don't think you can really bend these, these pins right here. Uh, you can probably get one of them. That's fine. Lay it down on the on the on your workbench. Again, touch the soldering iron right to the the hole in the in the wire. There we go. That's one. Oh, why is it focusing on my fingers and not on the board?
so for some reason my um my camera likes to not focus on things uh, i have to fix that later uh. all right so we got one side done let's do the other side oh <sighs> There's number two, okay. And then we're just gonna snip these off. And there we go, okay, so we got that done, that done. Um, we're not gonna put the switch in for this one because I'm gonna run this straight off the USB cord. If you did want to have a, a separate, uh, I guess, battery or a separate input. We have uh, terminals for those, for the plus and minus. But because I'm going to be running it off the Arduino Nano, we're just going to keep that there. So this is the next thing. It's going to go right... in here. Now again, these things don't line up as good. So try and they're really tricky. solder all these little connections. Oy. I'm just going to put the pliers there so it just knocks up against it and holds it in place. It's not doing so well. My soldering skills are not the best right now. I'm just gonna quickly do these. Oh, come on, you. change my tip because these are just getting too too uh, uh it's not working at the tip anymore Yeah, these aren't the best ones. Actually, the ones to the left are the better ones. And near the middle, they just kind of progress into, like, complete and utter shit. But, um, 
Yeah. Mm. There we go. There's... Okay, so now we're going to do this side. This one actually not oh shoot some of these are actually quite bad there's no, I don't think there's enough solder for this one plus it's reaching out and over I don't like those Okay, so we've gotten we've gotten everything there. So it's not bad. It's not good either. But yeah, okay, so next thing is gonna be the sensor. So we're gonna plop this right on here. Boop. And Just gonna solder it in place. the gaps so you don't want to do this you don't want to have that okay so like right oh. so like right oh. right there you can see where I bridge the gap in between those two pins you don't want to do that I'm doing the reason it's doing that is because the solder isn't isn't hot enough it's not flowing freely. Now again, this is because I'm using solder-free stuff and or lead-free stuff in the solder. Ah. I'm using the lead-free solder, which can get extremely hot and then just not. it just not work so anyways here we go and there we go there's our little there's our little board um and you know what I'm gonna take a minute and we're just gonna I guess reprogram it tomorrow so it's all built. This is fairly easy to do. 
and as long as you guys uh, can solder the Arduino, uh, that's probably the worst. That's probably the worst thing to do because the pins are so close together. But if you guys can do that, then you're fine. Now, because it's like, ooh, what is it now? Almost 12 midnight uh, on Christmas Eve. Well, going into Christmas. Um, I don't want to make an alarm sound, so we're going to do this tomorrow. So, if y'all are watching for the short time that I've been up, uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. And we'll continue with this project. Um tomorrow I guess or the day after because Christmas Day you know streaming I might just do my if I get a game or something for myself for Christmas or whatever so see you guys then bye <laughs>